Hey folks, I'm Daily Fix and welcome back to the uh, the Split Warlord series. Yeah, I, I had to start giggling because uh, because we haven't been much of a warlord, uh, and I'm aware of that. There is just a few things that we need to get out of the way so we have a stable economy, and then we can just have some fun with the Argon Federation or with the Xenon. So, uh, before we get going, let's go over this. So, uh, the trade station is done. Decided for a design like this. Eventually, we'll have some... Um, we'll have some defensive turrets over there. So, we can deal with some uh, basic basic ships defending our station. Stuff like that. Now, we also have our very first uh, BOA Advanced Auto Trade... Uh, and I put it on refined metals and silicon wafers because I'm still in the business of making sure that these resources from the trade station will actually get traded and the economy keeps floating. Now, right now, it's not doing overly much over here because it's filling up. Uh, as, as you know, I do not like using um, an automatic pricing. I kind of hate that. Eventually, this will start selling when it's most likely around this bit. Currently, uh, the ore will sell for 53. If we quickly check over here. Scrap metal is, uh, is from another series. Uh, or That's not how you do it. Dum dum. You need to press. Okay. There we go. So currently they're buying in at 44. There is actually this one. So he is currently. But holy crap, where is that? Wow, that's actually very expensive. Uh, 59. Interesting. Let's quickly take a look. Did not see that. And what is the current level of its manager? That is a level two. So that's one, two. Yeah, it, it, that's what it Can needs. I help? Give a seminar. I actually, because of the missions we've done, we actually got some seminars for level two management. I also have two remaining for pilots as well. So, I do want to make sure that we get that going. And this should actually, eventually, like, trigger the selling of ore over here. Now, we only have one poor lad over here that's going to be doing that. The rest is just filling up. We need to make sure that we, make start, we start generating enough money so we can get rid of these medium ships because of the car. And I don't want to lose any to them. That's just a nuisance. However, let's get out of our comfortable chair. Let's go Hello. to the faction's representative. Because I, I do need to make sure that we get the well our own, our own private little economy going now, don't we? And that means that we need some, well, some products to create. Uh, how expensive is that? 10 million. Actually, not too bad. Split wish you fortune. Yeah, I love that voice. That's the voice of someone who knows how this goes. Uh, what do we have? Energy cell production. I'm thinking refined metals would potentially be the best way forward. So we'll start with that and then we'll go with silicon wafers. I like to go with a bit of the price as you can see like graphene. Uh, the missile components that's really odd. No, it's just Refined metals, we might potentially go into hull parts. That is uh, four and a half million. That's quite expensive. That is too much for my liking. We need to get back to our POS because I done something stupid. And I didn't talk to Bosatar. What do we have over here? We got medium solid storage. I kind of want to get medium storage going as well. These two we don't really need or use. I also got myself the admin center, the defensive bridge, the disc, and I, equipment-wise, I made a, a bit of mis a, made a bit of a mistake, and that is I also bought the medium plasma turret. Yeah, 
you want the large plasma turret to be on your defensive discs um, because they will make short work of uh, Xenon case and the shard we will be using against anything smaller. We could also make it a mix uh, and get potentially just some bolt. Like they're very well aimed. So that would be not bad at all. As for the shield generators, I felt getting the Mark II for the large shield gen was just too expensive for now. And yeah, we don't need that. So let's get that going. I also want to go back to my ship. Let's get out of this station before they, before they start shouting. Because uh, we do need to make sure that we have some satellites. Unfortunately, I did pick up a mission to build a defensive base. I've checked. I've checked and I, I just can not. Uh, I don't have the money for it. So I'm sorry. Uh, for that mission we will have to cancel. So let's undock. This is far enough. I don't have to go any further from the station. I just want to make sure that we do not get the... Uh, Attention all shoppers, Egosoft wants to wish you a, I don't know, happy Easter or something. So, yeah, let's just not. I do want to take a quick look. So, this is where my ship's mine, and I don't want any of my stations to be at that particular position. However, I do want to be close enough to my own POS. So, I'm thinking if... We start building refined metals over here. We could potentially just sell it to the hull parts factory over here. And, and we'll just see. For now, just get a small plot. Bow that up. And I just love that we can see the plant. It's still weird that it shows up like this. Uh, with the layers over there. Uh, that's awesome. That's a, that's a Talati, wait, is that, that's a Talati voice. Interesting. I'm very tempted to give the base one large dock for the future. Otherwise we'll have to go back to this again and I kind of don't want that. Uh, this is good enough, otherwise, actually no. I think this has to be like this. Just for the fun of this. Is this straight on? Yeah, I think that would be perfect. Let's also do... Do, do, do this over here? Mm. No. No, no, let's go with a cross connection. I love these split cross connections. I think they're the best in the game. It's so handy. Now we can do... Shipyard... Or actually docking positions on the shipyard. Like so. And we could go... We do need... Solid. We just place you down here. Like so, yeah. And then we need a container. This won't work because of the dock. If we flip it, would it then work? We just place you up there. It bypasses everything. There we go. Sure, we can do that. Then let's do a cross connection. Then we need the refined metals bits. Uh, how many could we get on top of that? We could flip it. To a 90 degree angle. Would, would it actually go? Um, could be the module. Interesting. Yeah, that actually would work. Well, don't mind me. Um, not sure about the medium container though. We might not even 
It's going to be a lot of ore. Let's uh, let's see how expensive this is before I get too excited. Okay, we have the money. Can we get a construction ship? We'll, we'll be left with one million. Actually, I quite like that. Yeah, very compact. Very compact. Wretched Skies Factory, that eventually will change. We'll just buy whatever it is that we need. So that's going to be our second base. Hopefully we can generate enough ore with this to make sure that that gets sorted. How much would you need? Let's take a look at the overview. So ore-wise, we're looking at something like 16,000 per hour. That is quite a bit. Quite a bit indeed. Well, let's worry about that when the time comes. As for the trade station, how do we set that up? Oh, there's, there's plenty. There's plenty of room to get that done. Can these seven ships get enough ore going? Also decided on some Neverium. Every now and then they do sell that. And yeah, it's been actually quite, quite wonderful. For now, we are going to be abandoning... Open briefing aboard mission. Abandoning that mission. Uh, once we undock, we'll most likely get some new ones. But I think we want to go to Bosita first. Quickly get talk to him. Get the uh, research. Because that is the part that I kind of kind of forgot. Friendly introduction and all. Yeah, kind of stupid. But that's on me. Anyways, let me go to Bosita. And if anything were to happen, I will let you know. Okay, so um, it appears there is actually a Xenon K over here. And also for those of you who are wondering, where is your ASP? Well, Entering <laughs> system. it had a problem. It kind of did. Now I'm wondering if they will do this. So, I now know, because of the Star Wars Interworlds series, that torpedoes can be a absolute godsend against large ships. So, I do kind of want to check that out in here, because if we go to torpedoes, uh, missiles, we have the light torpedo, and we have the heavy torpedo. It doesn't say if there is like a bleed through like what the encyclopedia is doing with the Star Wars Interworld series. I would have liked seeing that, but we already know we need, let's say roughly 21 large torpedoes to deal with this. Uh, unfortunately, if anyone but me destroys a K, we don't get the money, so... Would it for us be an interesting idea to still equip them? That's for currently, like, look at this. These guys are on a mission. We know it. This patrol rattlesnake, they are definitely going to be dealing with this. These ships are just stopping him. And because they're attacking in from the back, we know there's some turrets, but the... These ships will most likely not get hit that often by the large ships. Entering so yeah, there is definitely a good zero. possibility that they will just survive. Let us see. Paving the way won't work. Yeah, I'll uh, meet you at the um, at the POS. Autopilot disengaged. Okay, so we're actually quite near now. I also just checked the um, that K. Uh, unfortunately, it did hit some of... Oh, dear God, here we go. Of course I do that. It makes perfect sense. So, it, it did take out some of the, um, the small ships. And the rattlesnakes are getting close. But, yeah, not close enough. I wish they would redo the way... Docking granted. They would stalk. I'd, I'd say stalk a prey. Um, because if you put them on attack... It's sometimes they just don't get too close to the enemy and they will start not... Act they just refuse to activate the traveling done. drive, which is somewhat it's annoying. An honor to have you aboard. Yeah. 
Anyway, uh, I also want to go to the trading post because I need one book for a st a one star pilot. Hopefully, this uh, particular fella has one. Can I help? Here you go. And he does. That's perfect. Get a few more of those, and let's get one more for management. Perfect. Split. Wish you fortune. Awesome, dude. Anyway, so what I wanted to do is this particular guy is almost to a two star. Hopefully, I can, can I help? give him. Yeah, there we go. One star, two star, and now right he's out. almost, I think, to a four star. Yeah, he is almost. Uh, let us quickly rename this guy. So this was three boa advanced auto trade. And we'll assign him to Mimic Commander over there. Uh, they will go a bit faster because the higher the pilot level, the faster they will start doing stuff. Also, I'm hoping these guys will actually level up to be even more than what they are right now. Now, unfortunately, he is doing something, I guess. Buying? He's undocking, never mind. There we go. So he did a sign over there. Looks pretty generic. All looks the same. Advanced auto trade is now the fleet. Once again, guys, if you want to name ships, stations, fleets, uh, let let me know. Uh, let me know, and we'll change. I still have the Hell Divers two to do, which is going to be the medium equivalent of our uh, COVID Ops ship. Uh, as for now, gathering intel. Ship reconnaissance, critical satellite placement. It's extremely easy. Still pays very well. Unfortunately, not a skill book this time, but still almost an hour, uh, almost a million. Quickly head to Bosita, get that out of the way. Also, do I have anything in my inventory Did worth I selling? Help? Here you go. No, well, we can actually get three of those, and we will. No, the rest is not too interesting. Split, wish you fortune. Awesome, dude. Thank you. I like fortune myself as well. Uh, science laboratory. This installation is equipped for habitation of all races, and this room seems to be some sort of research area. I expect I could spend years poring over the data contained in these systems. Hello there. Uh. Yes. I have already made some progress. There appears to be several things we can research at this facility. Please take a look. Ah, uh, will do, mate. Uh, absolutely perfect. As you can see, there is much to do. I personally find mention of this teleportation irresistible. Me too. But I leave it up to you to decide what we research first. Please note that these research items have certain requirements. Yeah. So because of we uh, of of us doing those war missions, we actually did get a few. I think exceptional mods. So getting there would actually be well quite a good thing because that would really assist uh, our ship, uh, especially on in the future. Everyone knows about that. Also, of course, the hacking very important. Uh, we need to make sure that we start getting into some of these uh, 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 goods. Like advanced electronics, I believe, is... Is that refined metals, graphene, and something? Let's take a quick look if that is true. Advanced... Uh, where's, where's electronics is... Energy cells, quantum tubes, microchips. So I think that's silicon wafer stuff. So, yeah, we definitely need to get all of this going. And I kind of want to place all of that towards, towards the POS. So we can always produce that. I usually don't. Uh, but the POS might be moving. And we need to make sure that when it moves, it doesn't br uh, cause issues. So right now, get some of these missions done. Look at that. Hey, the boron trading, yeah, I like that. Generating some uh, positive relation with them. Uh, didn't we have a mission?
Okay, we'll uh, just go over here. This is a small satellite quite near. Let's quickly go. I'll put it on autopilot. It doesn't seem to be any asteroids in there. I, I, I kind of want to start saving up, guys, for a uh, protocol tech 2. Like the Helldivers do. I think it's time that we uh, we actually start doing stuff like that. Uh, did you start selling? He is actually on its way. You are delivering ore. Over there. That's perfect. That is perfect. More expensive. Was it the... I think it's the mineral one that can actually just have normal weapons. I think the gas cannot... Yeah, so that's um, not something I want to use. Go with Pulse. Pulse. Combat? Oh, actually, that speed is not Entering bad system. at all. Wow, I like that. Uh, combat engines. Weak shields. Pulse. Pulse. Um... Actually, do the turrets on shot. Talking computer, long range, police. I'll just get all of these because I like to. We would need five satellites, five advanced, five captain, and oh, let's do a few surf screens. So one point two million will get us the Helldiver 2, which is actually very interesting. I think it would be this fast, though. Seven, 650, that is not bad at all. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I might sell the particular ship we're in right now. Uh, see how for how much. If we can squeeze out a tiny bit more, that would be uh, very, very nice. For now, let us... Um, Drop this, uh, this satellite in this very, very exciting mission, of course. And we'll go sc uh, scan the Vanguard. And we'll actually discover a new system. I like that. Autopilot engaged. Okay, so I just checked. We could potentially get uh, about 500,000 for the Helldiver 1. So I'm, I'm curious. Let's get the mineral mine. Let's put them on a high preset. Which is stupidly expensive. Look at that. And look at that speed. 922. That is stupidly fast. Go with it, uh, Mark 2. Combat Mark 2. Shields are fine. Definitely not the mining drill. So it will actually be a bit more expensive. Pulse laser mark 2, pulse laser mark 2. Is that really what we need? Uh, let's go with two normal ones. And we'll go, yeah. Def definitely not that. Shot. Shot. That looks solid. Five, five. Don't need the Marines per se, because you can always transfer crew members to be Marines. Cannot afford that, huh? Well, let's just do it in a way that we can actually afford that. This way. Let's call this Helldives 2. Helldivers 2. Let's get that done. So when we're done with this particular mission, we are going to say farewell, farewell to this small covert op ship and upgrade. And I quite like that. Quite like that idea a lot. He is on its way back. That's good. Trading is being done. We are getting some money in. So, uh, meet you at the target, and, yeah. Then I guess it's time that we, uh, we go get that ship. Also, I was thinking about what I would use as a bit of a 
a boarding fleet and I'm thinking the Cobra would actually not be a bad idea. It has 26 seats uh, for personnel so we can go with I don't know like like maybe three crew members or six crew members and, and 20 marines and we can actually add a small ship to that to you know get rid of the engine stuff like that so uh, let me know what you think about that particular suggestion or maybe there is a another ship that Great would work. work perfectly for that Disengage. i didn't do anything with the ship but apparently i got paid so i am not going to be complaining about it we right now are going to be setting course Engaged. over here apparently he doesn't know how to fly there oh it's because of uh, of me i set up the um the ai that they are kind of not allowed on themselves to fly through xenon territory because i kind of lost the, uh, the s over here which is uh, a damage. Well, <laughs> okay, I, I did something. I, I noticed that it was getting hammered, right? So what do you do then? Well, you pause the game. You transfer all of the crew. Give it a second. Then you go click the ship and then you sell it to the split. <laughs> so basically, I, I sold them a ship that g well, got, got blown up. But do save your crew. If you get a, a a notification like, my god, I'm being assaulted, stuff like that. Yeah. If you're not winning the fight, you might as well just transfer everyone over, right? Okay, guys, let's, uh, let's do one good long look at our very first Helldivers one. Our very first COVID ship that has served us extremely well. I think I've made roughly 10 million with this ship alone. In actually not at that long a time span. If I take a look at uh, with the split when I loaded the campaign. We have been in for 7 hours. That with recording is going to be somewhere in the range of 8 hours. So yeah cannot really complain because I, I do not rush myself as much as I would have been rushing myself uh, in, in previous versions with the Xenon because so far the split have been doing fine and that actually allows me to have some fun as well and, and not be focused on doing stuff. I think with the, uh, the previous split campaign that I've done as a stream um, disengaged in six hours, I believe I had the refined metals, the silicon wafers, and I started going towards all parts. The downside I had with that particular oof, that particular uh, version of the game is that the POS uh, does drop in Taladi space, and it wasn't too easy to. You know, getting there, doing uh, the hacking missions. I also made sure that I got myself a dragon quite uh, quite early on. So I could start shooting Xenon Ks. Uh, let us absolutely low preset. I think I made a, a light. I made a light. No, I lied. I thought it would be half a million. Uh, apparently... It's a lot more. Don't mind me. 600,000. Basic. Don't need targeting. Don't need trading. Just bare bones. And then we will sell it. I'm actually going to be keeping the crew. So confirm that order. Now quickly select these guys and we're going to be telling them to transfer crew with our held hives too we should have enough room even the marine even the marines that i have over here why don't you just just 
Oh no, they're not there yet. Never mind. Is this now done? 35 seconds. Okay, let's get up. Greetings, Tuatara Mineral. Can I help? Yeah, I need to talk with you. So you are a pilot leveling two. I want you to work somewhere else for me. Potentially as a captain over on the hell drivers too. So you do you. Get out of the ship. It looks to be done. Should actually be in a museum. What can you do? Sell the ship. Uh, yeah. Okay, we actually made not bad money with that. It's like 800,000. Did not expect that. I might even upgrade some of the uh, components for the ship. Are you done? There you go. Almost an emotional goodbye. Even my dog started barking. So sorry if I kind of shut it up there for a second. And here we go. We are currently eyeballing the sun. Alligator. Praise the sun. We will be taking command. And let's go on our maiden voyage. In, uh, there we go. Our Helldivers 2. So yeah, that's going to be awesome. I'm going to be loving every second of that. It is going to be an extremely fast ship. I'll upgrade it in my own time because, well, it's 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 definitely not interesting. Yeah, I love that. Let's quickly do what we should be doing, huh? Let's get a good angle on this ship. And there we go. That's done. Let's get to our mission. Uh, Helldivers 2... We need to accept, extract intelligence, set that. We need to start... Okay, we'll find a ship containing hull parts. I believe... There is a factory up here. And it is extremely likely that this intermediate trading boa will either load on hull parts or actually... Just did. I think he is doing that right now. Excuse my English. Oh, actually, we're going back. Yeah, we're going back really quick. As you can see over here, there is going to be 1,250 hull parts delivered to the wharf. We're going to be scanning every ship that is heading towards the wharf. That I think is going to be way easier to do than facing, actually trying to catch up with a boa. How fast are you, mate? Because I was a bit underwhelmed by the current speed. Let's take a look. Also, disable your... Actually, we're on uh, defense mode, so that should be fine. What is our top speed right now? It's quite underwhelming. If I say so myself. I do want to upgrade my engines. Uh, I want to be in a very fast ship. Just pushing these missions out when I'm uh, not recording. This might be the guy that we need. This particular buffalo. Are we going to be making it in time? I do not know. However, that's also... Yeah, actually, I think he might be energy cells. Switch camera. Buffalo. This is the guy.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't get. Not right now. Oh, are you done yet? Don't tell me you're already done. Yeah, he's already done. Never mind. Ooh, okay. I, oh, wow. Stop that. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm kidding. I do not handle that very well. So how about this? I'll, uh, I'll just wait until that ship appears. And I'll upgrade my engines while I do it. There we go. You are actually right on time. I was upgrading my engines and I then got the message saying, Dude, we don't have hull parts. What are you talking about? Quite upsetting. Civilian ship C. Alright, let's uh, quickly dock up. Split I'll upgrade four. my engines because they're quite slow. Now, while we wait for that, I also queued up a, another alligator who will be over, over here. Just making sure we're starting to sell the goods. Because it's actually building up quite uh, nicely. And when the energy cells arrive over here, they can finally start construction on the refined metal production. So, yeah, interested in seeing how that will turn out for us. It might be so that we need to increase the energy cells on the headquarters. Uh, we'll just see what will happen. Also, no advanced electronics. And I actually looked in the galaxy. The only place that sells them is the trading station. So I think the split might have a bit of an issue. For now, we're done. I decided to go with the Mark III combat engines. Because of the traveling speed being over 5,000. And the speed on the regular cru the cruising speed let's say like let's say cruising speed is like 900 so that's uh, that's actually quite nice let's set that to active check out the speed on this bad boy that also means that braking will be <laughs> quite an issue for me yeah there we go 700 800 Yeah, it's close to 9. Okay, that's fine. Let's uh, autopilot this. And we should be there momentarily. And yeah, let's take a look. What do I need to do in order to get money going? Now, I want to make sure that we get a combat ship, guys. That is going to be the next part of, of, of our journey. Making sure... We can assist, particularly in this area, this defensive station is not looking too good. 66%, uh, a lot of this stuff around, that's all nice, but I'm very, very worried about this particular station. Because if we take a look, turret components, missile components, drone components. So he is unable to repair itself. He is unable to build turrets, missile turrets. And stuff like that. So, yeah. He still shoots, as you can see that. He instantly wiped the... F just the xenon of the face of the galaxy. But still. We have Entering a market. lot of work ahead of us. And I want to be here. Either in a dragon. Or in a cobra. I'll leave that still up to your capable decision. While I do this final bit of this particular I'm recording. Sorry to disrupt your magnificent focus. Yeah, right. I'm just going to ignore you. I wonder how long it will take. Just act like we're not here. I think this ship might also be fast enough to do the scouting mission um, for the modules. That is interesting actually. Yeah, that would actually work out relatively well. If we can get some Xenon to shoot at me, that which would not be too difficult. Or just annoy one of the Argon Federation guys to shoot at me. To get the, uh, the other mod parts. Yeah, actually that would work. I think next time, guys, we're going to be doing the, uh, the modules. 
Okay, so there was quite a detour going all the way over here through all of these systems. It's my own fault because I set up a anti-activities setting and this particular ship can actually be off that because I'm flying it. If I did that right away, it would have gone most likely over Family Jin through Cassius uh, Cascade and we would actually have been there. Not for now. Let's go scan this particular station. Uh, we should have no issues with the security drones because, well, we are a civilian ship. Also, that's awesome, dude. That was it, huh? Also, uh, as you can see, I'm at negative 20. Uh, I was doing one of these missions. One of those criminals got loose and I decided to shoot it. Because, well, why not, right? Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I still hope you enjoyed. Next time, we are hopefully almost done with the production facility. Maybe not. But next time, we're going to be getting ourselves a combat ship. And hopefully, we can still work this defensive station out a tiny bit. I also want to get myself a trading ship in which we can do media missions like the... Uh, transporting of goods uh, i think that would be very very beneficial to us uh for now thank you for watching and i'll see you next time have a good one bye bye Auto pilot engaged